Welcome back to the Gui Lao 60 channel. This is going to be by far the most difficult video I will ever do in my life. Back in 2018, and people that watch watch my channel know this, that 2018 Wei Fong was diagnosed with breast cancer here in, in, the, in the Naimo on Vancouver Island. And uh, so she went through a mastectomy and uh, she went through a chemotherapy she went through radiation treatments. She was she went through the whole uh, battery of, of you know with the the no hair and and uh, bloating out chemotherapy was 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 awful, and uh, this whole process took us about eighteen months. And uh, in uh, two thousand and nineteen, she was uh, declared cancer free, which is which is good. So we packed up our stuff and we moved back to our Chinese home. And every six months we would go up to, to Chongqing, to Robert, a friend of ours place. And uh, he's an oncologist at the military hospital in, in uh, Chongqing. And we'd get, you know, her regular six-month scan for bone scan and CT scan to make sure that, uh, that uh, the cancer stays away. And we did this uh, every six months till, uh, till January of uh, 2022 when uh, we went up and we basically went up we we went up for the scans and stuff but to visit Robert and and go to restaurants and it was it was like a week of fun for us each every six months we do this Chongqing is a big city 33 million people uh, you know so it uh, don't mind me I'm having a couple of wines here today so January 6th of 2022, she had her, her scans back and Robert found three spots in her spine. The cancer was back. It was stage four, considered terminal cancer. And uh, we uh, came back to Canada and uh, we, she started her treatment. She had some radiation in Chongqing. And uh, we, we got uh, five months of uh, palbosiclib. It's a... It's a it's a hormone blocker that uh, tries to, because of the type of cancer she had, it was uh, hormone related. Uh, and she was on those palbosiclib uh, that we bought in China up until May when her, uh, because you got to be back in Canada for three months uh, before, because we were expats. We, uh, we, we'd stayed out of the country so long that, um, that uh, her, our health care wasn't valid anymore. So we had to wait three months. So we had the palbosiclib to, to cover that time period. And the doctors in in uh, Canada, you know, looked at what we were doing, and and they kept her on the same regime because it was the right thing to do. It was the the, the doctors in China and the doctors in Canada uh, were prescribing exactly the same method of of uh, of uh, drugs, I guess, a medication, a scalp medication, and uh, but that worked up until May of. Uh, of 2023 and uh, we did another CT and bone scan at that time and uh, the, the palbosiclib wasn't working anymore and the drugs or the medications they only work for a certain time period then you've got to change so we changed to examistane and that that's just a pill every every day uh, and uh, it was my phone was feeling pretty good so we we decided that uh, we were going back to China for a couple months and then you guys uh, probably watched some of the videos that that I did on the ground in, in China in April and May of this year, and part of June. And uh, it, so we so because we had to be back in Canada for CT and bone scans, uh, we we got back I think April a third or fourth, and uh, she did bone scans and the exam of stain wasn't working at all, so they changed her to a, a, a cape cytomine. It's a chemotherapy pill and she started taking about 50 well 1500 milligrams of cape cytobine in the morning and then at night and this went on well she did six cycles of, of this cape cytobine and it was uh, it was hard on her uh, she started with the 3000 milligrams a day and uh, because it was so hard on her she uh, they reduced it and reduced it and then she was on 2000 milligrams a day and after a six cycle, she just she couldn't take it anymore. Uh, so so we we stopped that, uh, and that's a couple weeks ago, th 
three weeks ago. Now it's Remembrance Day, 11-11-2023. So, uh, so she, she was weak, you know, I'd have to help her walk to, to, to the living room to sit down and, you know, actually have to lift her into bed. She stayed at home. And, you know, uh, she taught me so much. This is hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she, she taught me so much that uh, how to be a good person, a better person. See, Wei Fang was the best person I ever knew. She uh, always did the right thing. She 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 would help her friends. She would she when she came to Canada, she didn't turn her back on her family. She made sure that they had a home and they had money in their pocket. And and uh, we bought their mom and dad pensions and stuff because this is the type of person she was. So when you hang out with somebody like that, you become a better person and you think of other people more often. She was the one that's that uh, designed the children's charity accounts and stuff like that. When we were when we were doing that, we stopped uh, that. Well, I still deal with some of it uh, now, but it comes out of my pocket. Uh, the Patreon account doesn't pay enough to to, to do it. So I, I do keep a couple of uh, families uh, that are down on their luck. But this, see, that's 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 off topic here. Anyway, but uh, you know, she uh, she was my my best friend. She was my partner. She backed me on everything that I did. She was, uh, she was beautiful. She was smart. She was nice. She was all of the things. She was a perfect wife, actually. Uh, she was, uh, uh, she was a good cook too. Anyway, we uh, we we went into to uh, the Nanaimo Regional General Hospital, and she was in emergency for a couple of days. And they sent her over, sent her over to palliative care. And uh, at 6.40 on November the 8th, she passed. <sighs> ah. This is by far the most difficult thing I've had to go through in my life. And uh, everybody that met her loved her. She made friends easy. She uh, she was very photo 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 photogenic, as you can see. Like I'm watching what you're watching behind me. I'm watching that on on uh, on my computer, and that's why the tears are coming because I see her and see how how beautiful she was. How how her big smile. Uh, so. What, where, where does that leave me? Well, that's, I guess that's part of this video too. Um, Wei Feng's dream was to live on Vancouver Island. Wei Feng's dream was to, uh, uh, you know, live this lifestyle. And uh, so we did. We, I, I bought her a home, and, uh, well, actually a couple homes here. And uh, she lived out her, her, her final days living her dream. Uh, she was sick. She, she, she knew what was, was coming. I didn't talk too much about it on my videos because, uh, you know, respecting uh, her wishes that she didn't want people to feel sorry for her. <laughs> That's the type of person she is. Okay. So, uh, I moved fairly, fairly quickly, and Wei Fang and I talked about this before, before she passed away. Um, that that I would sell the house. I would, because your brother's in Canada working as a as a Chinese cook, and he he lives with us here at our home in Nanaimo. Uh, because we're, we're, we we have cash, and I see I, I stocked away a whole bunch of money because I figured that Wei Fang was going to outlive me. She's just about eleven years younger than I am. And I thought she was going to outlive me by 20, 30 years. She never smoked. She never drank. She didn't eat a lot of meat, mostly vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. She took care of herself. She exercised. She she did all of the right things. It's just uh, sometimes luck kicks you in the ass. And that's what happened here. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm selling everything. Actually, I'm giving all my furniture away. Uh, all of our clothes, all of our... 
wall pictures, beds, whatever, are going to thrift stores or the restore or whatever. Uh, I've dropped off already 20 garbage bags. I thought Weifang didn't have a lot of clothes. I'm like, God, when uh, you start piling it into garbage bags, there's, there was one garbage bag was just full of, full of purses. Another garbage bag was full of shoes. And, uh, you know, I was packing it up. You go through the emotions. You, you, you remember what she was wearing. And, and, and it's, 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 you have to be there to understand what I'm saying. And uh, so I'm selling the house, and uh, I'm taking Wei Feng's brother back to China, put him on an allowance, uh, make sure he, well, we've got a three-bedroom apartment in, in Nanning, so uh, her wishes were to take care of her brother. And you see, it's hard on him too, because he just, he, he just came back from China two weeks before Wei Feng passed away, and he was over there to help his dad, because his dad was dying. So his dad died a month and a half, two months ago. And then as he comes back and his sister passes away within two weeks of him getting here. So uh, uh, the way I look at it, half of the money that I've got is Wei Fong's. She left everything to me in the well. But uh, she also asked me that uh, to take care of her brother. He's the only living relative of her, of her family now. So uh, yeah, it's the least I can do. So, so Ping and I are going back to China. I'm going to pick up what's left of my life, and I know it's it's not it's not going to be it's not it's never going to be the same. I uh, you know I don't I don't have any any thoughts that uh, that that it will be. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult. I you know because Wei Fang was my rock. You know she 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 helped me through life. She as I say she she turned me into a better person. Uh, she she taught me a lot, and uh, she taught me the good things in in, in life and what's important, and uh, you know friends and family, and uh, all of the money in the world, wasn't uh, wouldn't save her. Um, so so I'm going back to to China. I'm going to leave Canada in the rearview mirror. I'm not going to come back here again. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just. Try to pick up the pieces of my life in China, and uh, hopefully, I'll uh, get a bounce back in my step someday. I don't know whether that's going to happen or not, but uh, I guess uh, it might take a month or two to get everything done here, uh, because we've got to deal with a lot of stuff uh, to 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 get to the point where I can go to China, and uh, I even got my car sold, you know, and. Uh, I list the house tomorrow, uh, and uh, this is three days after we found pass. So, uh, I'm I'm serious about uh, about leaving and, and and living my China life, and so uh, I guess that, my friends, is another video from Guilao Sixty. Wei Fong passed away on November the eighth at six forty p.m. and uh, I have a hole in my heart. And it'll never be filled. And uh, till next time, thanks for watching.